Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip I want to introduce a solution to, to be able to import uh, GTA Wii mod assets into the Unity. And in the previous uh, tutorial uh, uh, we learned how we can import uh, GTA San Andreas assets in the, the Unity first to the Blender after that to the Unity. I already made a video for that. Uh, I will uh, put the link of this page uh, in the description of this video. Uh, if you want to learn how we can how you can do it, uh, please watch this video. Okay, but at this time we want to learn how we can add uh, GTA Wii uh, mode assets into the Unity. In this page, in this uh, website, GTA5, uh, GTAVmods.com, you can download any assets you want, any cars, you know, boats, uh, weapons, or anything you want, and import it directly to the uh, to the GTA V. But at this video, we want to learn how we can import it to the Unity. Okay, first you should have uh, these two uh, plugins. First, uh, plugin uh, Solomos uh, uh, for uh, Blender itself. You just need to download the, the latest version of it by clicking just, just this uh, a green arrow and here. Okay. It is now, it's, I downloaded it. Now I put it here. Excellent. And this uh, Solms, uh, dot zip is our plugin. After that, uh, however, I already imported this package, uh, this plugin to the Blender, but I will not uh, teach you how you can do it by clicking add just less, uh, uh, no, sorry, preferences. Here in the add-ons, uh, you can here click on install and go to that address, Solms, and this zip file. And now you will have this ability here. Just need to search GTA V or Solms, sorry. Ah, yeah, this guy. Import export solos. Uh, just to, uh, check on this marker and you will be able to import XML and export XML for YDR, YDD and YFT files of the GTA V. Okay, after you do that uh, uh, I will share the link of these uh, two plugins into the description of this video as well. Uh, however, you can uh, download the Blender free from this uh, uh, site as well. Download Blender 3.6, for example, and install it on your computer. I will share the link of here as well. And after that, you should have uh, Code Walker GTA V 3D Map Plus Editor. Uh, actually, uh, the, the all assets you want to download from this website uh, have a specific uh, format which called RPF. Uh, with Code Walker uh, RPF Explorer, uh, it already has inside that. You just need to download the, all, uh, the latest version of it. And I already downloaded it here, uh, which is here. You know, uh, this is G uh, Code Walker, and we, it has RPF Explorer. Uh, whenever you want to use this, you just need to open this uh, application. It asks you to add the address of GTA V, which you already have on your computer. Remember, for using this method, you, you need to have a GTA V on your computer. Without GTA V, uh, Code Worker doesn't work. Okay, probably. 
probably I need to okay all right is it still the scanning it's a scanning the all assets in my oh sorry both of them are gone okay uh, it's still st scanning the files here okay let's come back to the here okay we want to go to the wiggle list here and for example go to the aircrafts and I'm writing so away and I want to Im import this beautiful aircraft okay I just need to download the zip and the latest um, you know version of this aircraft here and I, I already downloaded it after that uh, you will see he, um, in the address you will have the soho30.rpf uh, I just copied the into this address I made a new folder which called months and I copied soho30sm.rpf into this address after that I just need to open the Code Walker RPF Explorer here and into the mods you will see I have this guy Soho30sm.rpf has two folders common and 60, x64 this x64 is our current target and here in the levels in the Soho30 or GTA in, in GTA 5 vehicles here so the address will be mods soho 30 x64 levels gta 5 vehicles and in here vehicle itself we we have uh two kind of 3d models the normal one and the high version the, you know uh, high poly of the 3d model uh, i just say okay just this 3d model uh, export XML of this 3D model and in here it says okay let's make an address for this 3D model so 30 and select the folder and now if we take a look at it here we have so 30 and uh, YFT XML uh, file is here it is the 3D model okay now come back to the blender and says okay import XML YDD and at this side we go to the Soho 30 and open the 3D model that uh, we have it but with this cube which is now it's supposed to be collider of the 3D model in GTAV, so we will remove this guy. And as you can see, we have two, you know, several 3D models inside each other, which uh, they are usable for LOD level of details. So if you want, you can keep them, but if you want, you can remove them. Look at this example this guy or oh, the in these objects are related to this 3d model look at this okay yeah there is several version of this uh, Soho 30 but with the different uh, you know uh, details now I'm gonna export DAE to be able to uh, edit the 3D model uh, in the Unity as well. I call it Soho 30. Okay. Come on. Okay, excellent. I have now Soho 30, but uh, these images are, you know, actually black because I didn't export the images from uh, here. 
So I've removed them. I just keep the, the basic one. Okay. Now for uh, export textures, these are the textures of this airplane. You can uh, look at this it, in, in front of size aspect. You can understand which one is the most important one. However, you can double click on these files and see them. Look at this. It's supposed to be for the aircraft itself and the last one is for the cockpit. For example, I want to export from this. I just say, okay, let's save all textures into this address, desktop, software 13. But remember, it supports just DDS, okay? And uh, by the way, if you want to see the 3D model itself, you can double click on this uh, model and you can see this model with this method. Look at this. It is truly beautiful. All right, now let's come back to our Unity. I here, for example, I want to import Soho 30 to this project, but it doesn't support DDS. Okay, uh, Soho 30 here, we have a 3D model of Soho 30, but look at this, it's black actually, it doesn't have any textures but you, know, you can right click on this guy prefab and unpack completely here you just need to uh, if you don't want to use LOD objects you can remove them and just keep the you know Soho 30 itself look at this it's uh, the chases and this is the 3d models now perfect Let's take a look at the textures itself. If you want to open the DTS, uh, those DTS files which are not uh, you know, readable in the Unity, you just need to double click on this guy and say, okay, let's open DTS file with uh, Visual Studio. If you open it and you can come over here and say, save generic class, uh, this the name of this, the DTS as. Okay, and in here we will say save as a gpg file and it is the compression say okay now look at this we have this one as a gpg correctly and I, I can even remove the uh, DDS file from my project and for example this is the aircraft itself uh, look at it, this is the te texture of that. So let's save as this guy as a G page as well. Thank you. And come back to the Unity. I have, you know, the DDS files, and they are not editable, they are not uh, in comp in a compressionable. But here you can compress the file. By, because they are JPEG, that's it. And even the size of DDS files, look at this, for example, this guy is 8 megabyte, but the JPEG one is almost 7 megabyte. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost the same, but no, at least we can edit this guy. So, drag and drop our 3D model into our 3D model. Beautiful. Let's make a direction light. Beautiful. Look at this. Guys, we have Soho 30 3D model with a good quality from GTA V website. Excellent. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.